Lately, a lot of people have been asking me to update my daily grind. What do I do inside of Diablo? Well, when I first wake up in the morning, the first things that I do to get the most experience, the most progression, the most effective way to collect all your rewards inside of the game, specifically if you're someone that doesn't have a ton of time to play every single day. So I'm going to take you through that. Now, we just did have a Shadow Rain and an Immortal Rain change. So that's going to change how things work a little bit, but I'll take you through it. First things first, you come and you collect your rare crest from your Elder Rift. I already collected that, so we will move on. Now, if I have any challenge rifts that I had run the prior day, you'll have a gold reward right here. I would come and collect that gold reward as well. I didn't run any challenge rifts yesterday, so I don't have a gold reward to collect. Next, I come on over here and I check to see if I can purchase a weekly Eternal Legendary Crest, and I can. Now, this is the only thing that I will buy with Platinum. I will not buy a, a weekly Legendary Crest for 1600 because that, a regular Legendary Crest, I cannot sell. I can't sell it in the open market, but the Eternal, I can sell. So, I'm... Uh, Oh, I have to do my Warband Raid for the week first. But what you're going to do, if you could purchase this, because you did your Warband Raid, you should purchase this every single time it is worth the Platinum. It gives you a chance of unlocking a really good gem, which you can then sell for more Platinum if you want to. After I complete my Warband activities for the week, and this is, the, this is Monday morning, it's literally 8.45 in the morning. This is the start of the week. Once I do that, I will collect those rewards. Then I'm going to come on over here to the bounty board. Yesterday, I did not complete my bounties. I had a little bit of a, a late Christmas celebration with my family. So I would collect my four bounties and then move on. Now my four bounties are here for me to start completing for the day. And I am going to run the Sanctum. This is the next step every single day. Make sure you run your Sanctum. And you need to run it the way that I run it as well. Because in running the Sanctum, you can really... Be efficient with your aspirant keys so that you don't mess up and don't get the optimal rewards. Now, let's hope that we have a quick run right here so that I can take you through that really quickly. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Remember, you get approximately four aspirant keys for running the Sanctum. Now, what I spend at the end of each of these Sanctums is I spend three of those keys. I don't spend any more. That's going to give me one extra per day, plus all of the extra rewards. I don't open up all of the chests at the end. I open up only three of them. The first one is free. The second one is going to be um, cost one aspirant key. And the third one, that's going to cost two aspirant keys. That is the best deal in the world. And further than that, it's going to just keep doubling as you go. So I always advise people, don't buy any more until you have yourself over 377 aspirin keys. I usually wait until I have 400 because then you're going to be able to get to the final chest at the very end, which is going to give you even more rewards. So pretty easy stuff right there. I'll show you exactly what chest that I open up once we get through this. I've already picked up four aspirin keys, so this shouldn't take me too long. Ah, these things got on my legs. I can't stand these things. Oh, there we go. We got them all. Take them out. Boom way through i think i'll just leave this all in you guys will see how i run this thing i've gotten pretty efficient at the run there we go gaining a paragon level as well level 425 i am a few levels under paragon maybe five five levels under paragon honestly i could i could pick that up in one day if i were to just play you know a decent amount for the day all right we're going to push our way through here by the way, you guys may notice, if you haven't watched the channel for a while, I am now a Demon Hunter. Been the Demon Hunter for a couple of weeks now, and I will say, a little uh, inside look, I am enjoying the Demon Hunter more than I even enjoyed the Wizard, which is crazy to say because I really did enjoy the Wizard a lot. Uh, the reason I like the Demon Hunter a little more is mobility. I'm able to move around and attack much more efficiently with the Demon Hunter than I was able to do with the Wizard. It's just... It's just how the class works. Now, I feel like I was able to drop more damage with the wizard, but I was more stuck, more... I felt like I was stuck in the mud when doing some type of attacking. All right, so we've made our way here to the uh, the room with all the chests. Skip the first chest. We go to the second. Free. Boom. One aspirant key. Boom. Two aspirant keys. Boom. I'm going to collect all these rewards. This is going to help me with my progression. Now, if I were to go to another chest, you will notice this one would cost me four aspirant keys. The next one would cost me eight. 
the following would cost me 16. I ignore those. We leave. I don't have anything to upgrade. If you do, you can go there and do any upgrades that you have. And then we leave here. This has literally become such a routine um, walkthrough that I do every morning. It takes me probably, I don't know, five to eight minutes in the morning when I wake up to do this. Now we're gonna navigate over to the Hilts Trader because that is the store that you need to hit up every day. Now I did log in earlier just to kind of see what was going on. That's how I knew about the shadow events that have just finished and, all, and the whole rain changing. There's some stuff to buy in here. So you're not always gonna have enough Hilts to buy everything. So let me show you what you need to buy. First of all, if the circle, the cycle turn chest is there, it's only 50 hilts, you should buy that. The next thing that you're gonna buy every single time are the five aspirant keys. It's only gonna cost you 250 hilts. This is gonna help you progress towards getting enough of those aspirant keys. Remember, I, I recommend around 400 of them. Then you run the entire sanctum from start to finish, opening up all of the chests and you will get that bonus chest. I've recently put out two videos showing how to do this. If you wanna check it out, you can. Now, I don't really buy charms because the charm system in the game is wonky. I will buy all of these regular gems. I will buy all 10 and they will all be um, the tourmaline. Tourmaline, I go for, for power, I go for my attack power, I guess, I can't think of a better word. Um, I'll buy all of those at some point. I will buy the Taloric Pearl. I'll buy the Carson's Invigoration and I will buy the Mystery Legendary Item. These things are going to update weekly except for the Carson's Invigoration, which is a monthly repeat. So when I start getting myself enough of the hilts, I'll buy these. The Invigoration will be the last one because that one's there for a month. Now I already did buy a Legendary Crest. This is not one that you can sell. You should do this. If you could buy a legendary crest with hilts, that would be probably one of the first ones that you're gonna do. That one's more important than buying Carson's Invigoration, unless if you love Carson's Invigoration, which not many do, it's okay. Because this legendary crest gives you the ability to get a two star or even a five star gem or a one star gem. Now, limited time as well. I come over here and the only thing I'll really buy from here are the regular gems, which there are not any in here right now. When you're an immortal, you can buy from the immortal items as well. So right now what I'll do is I'll come to the normal gems. I can get a couple more. We're gonna go there. We're gonna get all of those tourmaline. They are my favorite normal gem for my gear. It's gonna give me more power along the way. All right, so now we come on up here. Looks like we have some stuff. Solo challenge, Rift Rewards. Also, look at this, we're getting more hilts as well. And we got some more token expiration notification, the moon slivers. Oh, did I did I miss that event? I may have I may have missed the event. You have your events in the event tab inside of the game. You have your daily tasks, which we could do right here. We have gifts, which right now I've completed them all. And we have greeting cards, which this may not even be in the game when you're there. You're basically gonna go through all of the different events that are inside of the game. Now we come on over here, a shadow recruitment period has begun. I'm gonna head on over and show you what I typically do when I'm a shadow, because if you're a shadow, which honestly most people in the game are probably shadows and not immortals. Remember only one clan can be immortals, so most likely you are not that clan. If you are, you won't do this because this area won't even be there for you. Um, I'm gonna hit join the shadows because I need to be part of the shadows again. Now, if you were a shadow, if you are in the shadows, you need to visit Bartender Bailey. Now, I can't demonstrate this now because I am no longer in the shadows because the whole cycle has turned, but you would talk to Bartender Bailey and you would do your shadow contracts for the day. These are even better than the rewards that you get from doing your bounties. Bounties are great. Shadow contracts are even better as far as XP that you gain. All right, next thing that I like to do, and you don't have to do this every day, but it is something that I typically will do, is I come over to the market. The market is where I like to sell any normal gems that I happen to get from running um, from running dungeons with my group of four friends, right? So if you run dungeons with a group of four, you'll get regular gems that drop. Those regular gems can be sold. Now I've sold everything that I have. I have my blood soaked jade gem here, but I am not gonna be selling that one because well, that one is something that I'm gonna be using for an upgrade. And actually, if we look at my satchel right here, I have three eternal legendary crests and six normal reg legendary crests. Once I pick up that other legendary crest that we looked at earlier in the video that I couldn't get yet because of the warband activity I need to do, well then, 
I'm gonna have 10 legendary crests and I will be doing a 10 legendary crest run and I will record as a video. Now that's gonna be cool because four of those legendary crests are going to be eternal. Four of them will be able to be sold here on the market and I'm gonna be able to get platinum. Why do you want platinum? Why is platinum important? Why do I sell any of my normal gems for platinum? Because when you wanna go get yourself a gem, let's say um, that I wanna upgrade my blood soaked jade, they cost platinum. And for someone like me, I'm only spending five bucks a month in the game to get the battle pass. I'm not buying platinum to buy this stuff. It's not gonna happen. So I am gonna take my gems and recycle them and sell them that I get for free. And I will be able to get these gems to unlock. I will slowly be able to progress. This is the free to play way for you to be able to upgrade your legendary gems, whether they're one star, two star or five star and get yourself stronger and stronger over time. It's a great method. It is time consuming. If you take a look at my build right now, you'll see that my gems, they're all five star gems, but they are not all completely upgraded, right? They all have a ways to go, but it's part of the fun. I don't mind the grind. I actually do enjoy the grind quite a bit. Now we're gonna go up here. Looks like something is available in the shop. We gotta claim our daily reward from the shop. Remember, it's absolutely free, costs nothing. Get your free stuff, guys. Now, what else do we have going on up here? Paragon, I was able to upgrade Paragon just when I was playing with you guys. So we're gonna progress our Paragon as well. Remember, in my Paragon trees, I will always go for damage on all of the trees. Pro tip here, or a little hint if you didn't know, the circles, even if it's a Paragon tree that you are not using, all the circles will be active. If you are using the Paragon tree, let's go to Treasure Hunter. If I activate Treasure Hunter, all of the items on the Paragon tree are in use. The squares, the circles. If I make it inactive, only the circles will work, but that happens for all the trees. So if you notice all of my Paragon trees, I get damage. I want that extra damage for my class build. It's just important to me. When I use Treasure Hunter, it's when I'm in the open world. It only works in open world. So when I'm doing bounties, shadow contracts, and things like that, I'll run Treasure Hunter. When I am doing events inside of the game, dungeons and stuff, I'll usually run Duelist. That's what I've been doing as of late. I also will sometimes um, go ahead and run Gladiator as well. Both of those trees I need to add a little bit more love into. And uh, first kill of the day, you get your reward. We'll run our rare crest. Remember, guys, it's not the best idea to hold on to rare crest. And I do have a bunch. I'm sitting on 12 right there. That's 3, 6, 9, 12. Four runs that I could do with the rare crest. Because remember, you could only put three rare crests in at a time. Legendary crest, they allow you 10. But the rares, they only allow you three at a time. And that's really it for the day. What I would do now outside of this video for the purpose of time is I would run all of my bounties for the day. I have these four, plus I can go to the bounty board a few more times. Remember, Monstrous Essence is massive as well. You wanna be able to get at least one of these from your, um, from your grind per day, because the first time that you turn in 10 Monstrous Essence, you get yourself a free Legendary. This stacks up to three days. So if you don't do it day one, you'll be able to get a day two. If you don't get a day two, you'll be able to get them day three. You'll be able to get three of them, I believe. On top of that, if you go over here, you'll notice your daily activities. Notice I can get a free set item if I run three dungeons. This also, yesterday I did not play much. So if I were to run this today, I could get, after three dungeons, I would get my free set piece. After three more dungeons, I would get another free set piece. This stacks up to three days. These are things that you want to do so you can outfit your character build with set items that are legit, that are strong, that are maybe even that work together to get those bonuses. And also, of course, legendary gear that you could pick up from Monstrous Essence and even a better chance of having them drop during your bounty boards. But that is my daily grind inside of Diablo Immortal. That is the start of the day. That's how I start my day. And then of course, I will play throughout the day. Bounties, I'll do dungeons, I'll do rifts, I'll do uh, events as a shadow. It's just all part of the fun. Hope this helps you guys find your way through Diablo Immortal. Make sure you sub and ring the bell so that you know how to play Diablo Immortal better every day or something like that. I'm here with videos every day though. That'd be good. <laughs>